Hey dolls and gents, today we are doing a summer beauty essentials video. I haven't done a favorites video in a little while, so I'm just going to compile it all into a summer video because we're almost at the end of summer, so I feel like this is perfect to do like a whole summer beauty favorites video. I feel like I said summer beauty favorites so many times. But if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. And please do not judge me on my nails. I cannot remember the last time my nails looked this bad. I'm going to the nail salon tomorrow, okay? I'm going to get them fixed, so don't judge me on that, okay? So yeah, I put all my summer beauty essentials in this box. Actually, I just realized I'm missing one item. I'm going to add that to the box now. So this first item is a no-brainer. A pair of sunglasses. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I would do without my sunglasses when it's like super duper bright outside. I just hate when the sun is like beaming in my eyes. But you definitely have to be careful about the sunglasses that you wear. Because if you wear a lot of makeup like me then you don't want to end up with those lines right there where your sunglasses are. So make sure you find a pair of frames that fit your face perfectly so they're not hitting your under eyes and causing your makeup to look a hot mess. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Thumbs up this video if you know what I'm talking about. Next up, we have two of my current favorite perfumes. And these are two Scentbird 30 Day Supply perfume samples. As you can see, I've really gone through this one here. It is Prada Candy Floral. Oh my gosh, this is like my signature summer scent for 2017. It smells so good. And these cases are so freaking cute. This one's purple and you literally like just twist it up and down that's how you close it just like this one this one is called Escada magnetism I've been wearing this one at nighttime and I've been wearing this one like I've just been having this in my purse and spraying myself like 24 7 with this to be honest so I need to go ahead and purchase a full size of it the reason that I love Scentbird is because you can actually date the perfume before you commit and buy a full size of it especially if it's a designer perfume y'all know that can get expensive and personally it makes no sense to splurge on a perfume when you don't even know if you like it and if it's going to mesh well with your body chemistry so if Scentbird has that perfume I highly recommend that y'all subscribe to it. I do have a 25% off coupon code for your first month. So if you've never tried Scentbird, be sure to check the description box down below for that coupon code and check them out. Y'all already know I feel naked without perfume, so it is definitely a must every day for me. I cannot go out the door without perfume or I'm like, I don't smell good like I smell like nothing to me nothing is not smelling good so I always have to wear perfume are y'all like that too next up we have chapstick this is so important for my lips to just stay moisturized in the summer because they can get really dry this one is from Smith's it's their rosebud salve I literally am like scraping the bottom to try to get the rest out but it's so good and it's not that expensive you can get them on Amazon or Sephora has it as well I probably should have mentioned this product first because it's probably the most important but it is SPF I use SPF of 60 on my face when I'm not wearing any makeup and this just makes sure that your skin is protected if you suffer from acne and hyperpigmentation like me you definitely need to wear SPF wearing an SPF just protects your skin and it's going to ensure that the hyperpigmentation spots on your skin do not get darker when you're in the Sun so Get you a good SPF and you'll be good to go. Next up, we have the Melody Mills Gleam Body Radiance in the shade Deep Gold. This stuff is babe for me. I love it when I have my legs out or my arms out. It's amazing. And I like to apply it with like a tanning glove. I feel like it really works the product in and it allows it to just stay on the skin. When I've used it with my hands, I find that it transfers and it's transferred on like my car seats because I have cream car seats. I'm just like, no, I, I can't deal with this. So I highly recommend that you use like a self tanning glove to rub this in and ugh, 
you will love it. Y'all know I love bathing and makeup setting sprays. The current one that I'm loving is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, but let's be honest, it doesn't matter what spray it is, I'm going to drench my full face in it. I just love this. It gives you that dewy look, and it's just like amazing for refreshing your makeup when you've been like outside and you've been sweating. This is just so refreshing to spray on your face. For foundation, Lancome Tint Idol is Bay. This stuff lasts on my face all day long. Today, I actually forgot to prime. I filmed this look for you guys on Facebook Live, and y'all let me forget to prime. I'm just playing. That was my fault. I don't know how I forgot to use a primer today. Like, I've never done that before. Not that I can remember. But honestly, the foundation still went on really flawlessly. Y'all can let me know what you think. But this foundation is amazing. I use the shade 520 Suede W. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a great summer foundation. Speaking of primer, and I forgot to use it today, you need a good mattifying primer, especially if you have oily skin. This is an essential for me, the Makeup Forever Step 1 mattifying primer. I've been using this for years now and it never fails me. Again, since I have oily skin, powders are super important for setting my makeup. The first one that I love is this one from Tarte. It is their Creamy Confidence powder and this one is in tan honey. I use this underneath my eyes just to keep the creasing away and to highlight and lately I've went back to my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder for all over in the shade Cocoa. It just gives me like a nice color. It is a little bit darker than my current skin tone but it just gives me that warmth kind of like summery shade and I love it. So the last two products on my summer beauty essentials list are highlighter and bronzer of course so for highlighter i have been loving this one from makeup forever it is from their pro sculpting duo and it is this super like golden shade here oh my gosh this shade i'm actually wearing it on my cheeks right now mixed with something else of course y'all know i layer my highlighters like my highlighter has to be beaming but that's beside the point this highlighter here is amazing it's like straight gold like look at that that was like one swipe like oh my gosh this highlighter is bomb if you are of a deeper complexion you need this in your life I promise you'll love it. And lastly is bronzer. This one from Becca is really nice called Mahi Nights. And oh my gosh, it is a red tone bronzer, but I love this. It does have a bit of shimmer in it. If you want one without shimmer, I recommend the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Deep 4. But this one is so, so nice. I love it. Bronzer is like major key for summer. Like who doesn't want to look like a bronze goddess in summer? So those are my summer beauty essentials. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give your girl a big thumbs up. That really does help a lot. And I will be sure to catch you all in my next one. Bye. Have y'all watched my last video? If you haven't, be sure to click it right here. You're not doing anything else, right? I mean, if you watch to the end of this video, you have time to watch my next video. So let's go check it out.